Hi everyone, this video will show you how to set the adapter created at the stop maintenance for uploading to the invoicing portal. Now, we go to the system, generate setup, and then enter the business registration number, email in the company profile, then click on the more company setting to enter the company address, postcode, city, state, and country. Then under the invoice, you need to enter the client ID, client secret, income tax number, MSIC code, and the business activity. When you click on the OK, all the information will save into the Minion software. OK, now we move in how you set up your data and create it in the Minion software. Go to the data, data maintenance, add or edit the data. After enter the account number and the names, remember that the following few are mandatory for the e-invoicing, which is address, phone number, email, business registration number, Test registration number and go to the other tab to enter the test identification number. Then click on save. Please ensure that your enter details are accurate and verify that all your information is correct. We'll do all the same setting on the creator maintenance. Add or edit the creator. After enter the account number and the names, must remember to enter the address, phone number, email, business registration number, and the test registration number. Then go to the other tabs to enter the income tax number, MSIC code, and the business activity. Then just click on the save. Okay, now we move to the UOM mapping. What is a UOM mapping? UOM mapping is you have to make all your item unique of measurement into the unique code recognized by the RHDN. So now what should you need to do is go to the stop product, add or edit the product. After enter the product code and the description, then click on the unit of measure. You may manually to add the mapping code. Click on add, e-invoice. This link I refer to the UN code on the HD website. Or you may just click on the button to generate all the commonly used of the unit of measure. Tick all, click on the save, yes, then close again. Then we need to select the classification for the item code. Click on classification, add. You may manually to add the classification. The LHD and classification code are referred to the LHD add. Or you may click on the general button to generate all the classification list from the LHD add. Save, and then click on yes, okay. After done, then you need to select the classification for the item code. Then just click on the save. That's all for the today video. Thank you.